Hey guys, and welcome back to Teal House Farm. It's Tuesday, so it's time for a recipe from the canning pantry. And today we're going to make a three bean bacon jalapeno chili soup kind of thing. And uh, it's really yummy. I do have a recipe for this for canning. So I make a version of this where I actually like can it all in a jar. Um, and I'll link that below. But today we're going to use some of our home canned items, throw them together to make this kind of really quickly um, and get on the stove. And it's a little bit different than the recipe that I can, but it's pretty darn similar and it's going to use up some odds and ends from our canning pantry. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's what we need from the canning pantry. So we have a quart of tomato juice. And this is one I just canned tomato juice and this one didn't seal properly so it's been in the fridge and that's one of the big reasons we're making this recipe is because I want to use this up um, and then we need a can of diced tomatoes Mama. I yes baby I want to eat you want to help me okay get a chair put your tablet away and get a chair we have a half pint of homemade rotel or you could use store-bought rotel I've got a half pint of mixed pepper, so you could use straight jalapenos if you want real spicy. These are mixed, sweet, and spicy. And this right here, I'm using this one specifically because this can buckled while it was being canned, so it needs to be used up first. I have a pint of chili beans, a pint of black beans, and a pint of great northern beans. So there's our three beans. When I make this for canning, I use the bacon ends that you get from the butcher that you're kind of always like, what do I do with those? But since we're making a real fast one that I don't want to have to cook for a long time, this crumbled bacon will be perfect. And then we're going to throw in some diced carrots. You could use canned carrots, but I only have quarts of carrots right now and I don't need that many. So we're just going to dice some of these up and throw them in as well. We're gonna use our smallest stock pot we have. This one is two gallons, I think. We're gonna dump in our quart of tomato juice, and then we are going to dice up these baby carrots just into bite-sized pieces, and Isla's gonna help me out and toss them into our tomato juice. I have the burner on a medium heat. We wanna get this nice and hot, but we obviously don't wanna scorch anything on the bottom of the pan. I used probably about a half cup of the baby carrots for this recipe. And then we also drained and dumped in our half pint of mixed peppers, our half pint of homemade rotel, and our pint of chili beans. Now with our other beans, with our great northern beans and our black beans, we wanna go ahead and drain them and rinse to get all that extra bean protein goo off of them. So we're just gonna dump them in the strainer and give them a nice rinse. Don't do this with the chili beans though because then you will rinse off all your chili flavor which will make your soup not quite as yummy. I'm using a pint of each type of bean and Isla's gonna help me dump the beans in after we've rinsed them. So there are our white Great Northern beans and then she's also gonna dump in the black beans. You can use any kind of bean you want though. Almost done, we're gonna add one can of diced tomatoes. Don't bother draining it, just dump the whole thing in. You could use chili tomatoes here if you wanted to, these are just regular ones. And then I add what's left of those bacon crumbles, which was probably about half a cup. Stir it up and bring it to a nice hot rolling simmer. Okay, we're just gonna let that cook for like 20 minutes, it really. Is. It's gotta cook long enough to cook those carrots. If those carrots had already been cooked, like I used canned carrot, it would just be however long it takes you to get it all warmed up. But uh, probably 20 minutes to cook those carrots. And I think with this, we're gonna have some quesadillas. And I always keep shredded chicken in the freezer. So we're gonna break off some shredded chicken and do some shredded chicken and cheese and maybe a little bit of spinach in quesadillas and have that on the side with some, mm, probably some fruit and that'll be good. Okay, while that's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make our quesadillas. So we're just gonna use these tortillas. I keep tortillas in the freezer, and if you take them out about a half an hour before you need them, they're ready to use. And I find they don't stick together, even if I don't put things in between the tortillas. We're gonna use some shredded cheddar. I was gonna make these chicken tortillas with some spinach, but I'm getting tired and lazy, so we're just gonna do cheese, I think, this time and uh, just keep it nice and simple. Plus, I think the kids will like dipping the tortillas in the soup, it'll be kind of yummy, so we'll do that. I get the frozen berries out of the freezer, we'll let those defrost a bit, 
And we put the quesadillas in the oven on 350 for, I don't know, about 10 minutes. Our soup looks great. Our tortillas are ready and our berries are a little bit defrosted. The kids like them really cold so you don't defrost them all the way. Let's serve it up. Nice scoop of soup for a little person. And then I find the best way to cut tortillas is either with a pizza cutter or with some scissors. So we're gonna go ahead and cut them into triangles and everybody can get three or four triangles. And I'll also put some sour cream and some more shredded cheese on the table if anybody wants it for their soup. The girls made homemade lemonade earlier today. We had made lemon curd and had lots of leftover lemons and so they squeezed them and made lemonade so we'll have that with dinner as a special treat. Everything looks great. Let's get everybody to the table. Micah spent her afternoon hand squeezing lemons to make lemonade. Ooh. Afternoon. It's good. Ooh. It's bad to be good. Mm -hmm. It's bad to be good. Mm. That is good. What's the best way to eat the soup, JJ? Oh, good. You gotta dip your tortillas in. Tortillas? Tortillas. Okay, there we have it. Um, another real quick, simple meal from the canning pantry. So, definitely worth keeping lots of things on stock. The kids have already started. Okay. <laughs> Go use the bathroom. <laughs> Always well worth it to keep things well stocked. You can get a free, uh, quick dinner. It was an early dinner tonight because Sam's working nights uh, right now. And so he's getting ready to head to work. So this uh, made the perfect amount for a family of eight. This made the perfect amount for our family of eight. So consider that when you're figuring out if you want to double that recipe or not. About half the kids ate it, half did it, and that's kind of what usually happens to any kind of soup we make. The littler guys don't really like to try soup because they think it's too many vegetables looking at, back at them. So thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!